Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, May 20th of 2020. Oh, I heard 2020, 20, 20, three times. Wow. Okay, so we have one more week of school. It is crazy. I can't believe it. We will be done by Thursday of next week, if I'm remembering right. Okay, so yesterday we started about uh, learning about bucket filling, and we were using our alphabet to help us learn. So I remember the one we stopped on was the letter E for helping people be excited. Isn't that great? I loved it. So we want to be excited to fill other people's buckets. And when we're excited about filling their buckets, then they are actually filling our buckets too. That is pretty cool. I like that so much. Okay, so let's continue on. F is for friends. Friends will keep your bucket full. Have fun or just hang out. To have a friend, be a friend. That's without a doubt. So in order to have friends, you have to be a friend. G is for give. Give someone a big, bright smile or a little of your time. These are very welcome gifts that won't cost you a dime. So if you see that somebody needs a help with something, offer to help them. If nothing else, give that pretty little smile that you've got because you guys have got amazing smiles that always fill my bucket. Ready? Let's see. Oh. Be careful, turn from the corners, right? H is for heroes. Heroes look out for others. They are a shining light. They use their words to speak up when something isn't right. Looky here. This little boy wants to bother this little girl while she's taking a nap. And this child says, no, no, no. That's not kind and that's not filling a bucket. So he's helping actually both of them because by reminding him it's not the right thing to do and by making sure she gets to take her nap. I is for invite. Invite someone who's new to join in all the fun. Their bucket will be filled because of what you've done. We had several new kids in our class towards the end, didn't we? And you guys were great at this because you always welcome new friends into our class. And I appreciate that so much. Good job at that bucket filling. Okay, I, J, well that's the first letter of my first name. J is for joyful. Joyful is the feeling your grandma gives you when you give her a hug. She's hugging you back too. So is giving hugs a way to fill buckets? Oh yes it is. Does it fill your bucket too? Yes it does. K is for kindness. Kindness leads to happiness. It will brighten up your day. The thoughtful things you say and do will chase the blues away. She's helping him build his snowman back after it fell. Kindness. I'm having trouble turning my pages. L is for listen. Oh, listen with your eyes and your ears when other people talk while sitting in the classroom or going for a walk. What do I say? I say, give me your eyes and your ears. That way I know your mind is learning. M is for make. Make a bucket filling card. Write a get well letter. Send it to a friend who's sick. They will feel much better. Look at there, look at that pretty heart. That card that that child made. Good job. N, N is for notice. Notice all the helpful things that other people do. Tell them that they filled your bucket and add to that a big thank you. So notice, be, be aware. Somebody did something kind to you, 
tell them thank you because they filled your bucket and that will help fill theirs again. O is for offer. Offer your amazing help. When grandpa has a need with your extra pair of hands, he'll be done in twice the speed. Oh, she's helping rake the fall leaves up. You think that dog's going to be helpful? Dogs like to jump in the leaves, right? I'm so glad. Look at that bucket getting filled. They're both smiling. P is for practice. Practice is required for any skill you know. Fill a bucket every day and you'll become a pro. Q is for quilt. quit. Quit any bucket dipping. It's very mean to do. Bucket dipping always hurts and dips out of your bucket too. So don't be a dipper. Be a filler. Right? Good job. All right. R is for respect. Respect is owed to everyone. It starts when you're polite, using your good manners and treating others right. Here's the teacher and she's smiling because she's seeing him hold the door open for this little girl. That's respect, just those little things. S is for smile. Smile and see what happens. Does a smile come back to you? When you fill a bucket, you are really filling two. You fill yours and your friends. T is for tell. Tell your family that you love them with feelings that are true. Nothing fills a bucket more than hearing, I love you. You is for use. Use kind words when you speak. It hurts when someone dips. Take the time to stop and think before you move your lips. Mm, am I about to say something kind? V is for volunteer. Volunteer is to do some work, like tidy up your room. Do it without being asked. And don't forget the broom. W is for watch. Watch out for bucket dipping. It's a time to use your lid. It will protect your bucket from a bucket dipping kid. So sometimes if somebody looks like they're going to have a hard time that day and they want to dip, it might be better just to avoid them and then try again later. X is for extra special. Extra special is the word for a bucket filling friend. The happiness they bring to, sh to you just never seems to end. Y is for you, you, a bucket filler. I'm sure you could have guessed you always keep your bucket full when you do your best. Z is for zero. Zero means there's nothing that you cannot work out. When you are kind to others, let's give that a shout. Oh, yes. By now, you must have learned this truth. There will never be an end to how you can fill buckets and be a bucket filling friend. Be kind and be a bucket filler. Be careful not to dip. Use your lid to protect your bucket. Share these bucket filling tips. Okay. Yesterday, I asked you to draw a picture of doing something that helps to fill other people's buckets. So I'm going to do a quick sketch of something that I do that I believe fills other kids' buckets. Ready? I'm just going to do smiley faces because you know me, I'm not that good of an artist. So here we go. Here is your teacher. There's my bun on my head, and I am reading a book. Now, there's the teacher, and I'm reading. When I read to you, how does it make you feel?
There's a row of my kiddos. How does it make you feel? Does it fill your bucket? How does it make me feel? Does it fill my bucket? You know what? I'm going to draw that bucket right here. And it's getting filled up. And I am going to quickly sketch some full buckets right here. Oh, be those bucket fillers, my friend. I know y'all are always so encouraging to me because I'm not real confident in my drawing. So, I can fill my students buckets Whoop. when I read to them. That's a long sentence, isn't it? Okay, so this is your job. If you did not sit no, did not get to draw your picture yesterday, draw it today and add a sentence about how you filled a friend's bucket. I know this lesson was long, but I sure hope you watched it all the way through. Send me a picture. Send me a sentence. I would love to hear from you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.